John 3:16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave Jesus to die for our sins. God's love isn't for a select few. It isn't for just one people group or one nation. God's love extends to the whole world, even to those who reject him. Paul describes God's awesome love in Ephesians 3, 16 through 19. He says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, God may strengthen you with his power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Paul prays that our lives will be rooted in God's love. This goes beyond simply knowing that God loves us in our minds. God wants us to experience his love. When we are deeply rooted in God's love for us, like a tree rooted in the soil, our lives produce fruit. God's love is so huge it cannot be measured. Paul tells us that God's love is so far beyond our natural ability to understand that we actually need the Holy Spirit to reveal it to us. The Holy Spirit helps us grasp God's love so that we can live out of it and share it. In Romans 8.39, Paul tells us that nothing in all creation is able to separate us from the love of God. The fact that God sent his son at Christmas is evidence of this. This is the love that God has for us as followers of Jesus, but it is also the love that he has for all people, even those who don't know him yet. God doesn't want us to keep his love to ourselves. He wants us to freely share it with everyone we meet. As you celebrate and share God's love with family and friends, have a very Merry Christmas.